Hey y'all, I'm Darisha. And I'm Dorian. Welcome to our channel. Hey you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm just getting home from work. Um, letting Storm, our new puppy, play around. We have a miniature schnauzer. She is, oh, she's already introducing herself. She's so spicy, I like to call it. Um, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then, um, sorry, that's kind of just like a crazy introduction to our new dog. Uh, but I have a whole highlight section on Instagram sharing her and updating you guys. And it's so easy for me to kind of just share like her growth and what I'm kind of dealing with with her and all that kind of stuff. Um, Dario is currently, no ma'am. She is in her teething stage. So Dario is currently in a training. So he really won't be in this vlog so much. And I have something kind of exciting and also kind of like funny to do while he's gone. So this is our living room setup. And I'm pretty sure I've shown it on our previous vlogs. Um, so this is just how it is. It's a little messy right now. But um, I have a little living room. Oh. So I have her diaper on and she just peed on the floor right there. I don't know how she's doing that outside the diaper. Dario had her, those diapers on her and she pooped through the diaper. So, um, yeah, I might just let her still roam because I feel bad because Dario is not here to let her out and play with her. And so I kind of have to do like double parenting right now. So she's just kind of on a little run as you guys can probably tell she loves going through that chair hey mama so her name is storm she's a miniature schnauzer and um we got her we were already on a waiting list for um this woman that oh my god this, this girl's diaper is coming off <laughs> she didn't took off the whole damn diaper okay let me put her up and then i can do a further introduction and talk about my plans for this vlog <laughs> sorry for that brash um intro um brash is that even a word i don't know but um as a lot has been going on and the reason why we haven't had a lot of vlogs is just due to um you know the computer was like backed up like didn't have did not have a lot of space and um i currently this weekend am going to have to go get an external hard drive i did end up getting one but it was just a backup device so it's not an external hard drive so therefore i wasn't able to you know upload any videos for like weeks and um, I definitely want to start uploading more Dario and I both and want to share our life here in Alaska you know this military life and also just kind of what we're doing outside of military life um, so I'm so excited to start getting back into the groove um, I appreciate um, the new subscribers that we have and I also am apologetic on both my end and Dario's end for this absence that we've taken and hopefully like we can kind of um start being a little bit more consistent so basically um we got little storm um from this woman she basically um had got ill and she had recently got her and um she just wasn't able to um continue to take care of her because she already had a, a miniature schnauzer but he's a little bit older and so she was able to um continue with him and take care of him but just having to train a new dog and also just dealing with the new dog it's literally like when they say like get a dog before you have kids like i totally agree now and see it like before i just did not see like i see a little bit of the resemblance but i didn't fully like think that it was just gonna be <laughs> she's like clearing her throat i didn't think it was gonna be like a full on like yeah that's it's basically a kid and I was talking to my co-worker today and she was like she used a lot of things that she's done on her kids um like trainings and stuff like she's used that on her dogs 
Um, like they are literally like kids. I'm trying to find my tripod, my little mini goby, but I'm gonna just take a little break and talk to you guys for a second. So yeah, we got her. We were actually going to just be getting um, a dog in general, this miniature schnauzer, um, or a miniature schnauzer in general. Um, but it ended up working out because the woman who has the miniature schnauzers, she's way in the North Pole, and this woman had already went there, got this dog, stuff like that, and it just ended up working out to where we didn't have to take that drive and deal with all of that, so, um, yeah, so she's basically, like, we're starting from the ground up, we got her at eight weeks, she's probably about maybe close to 12 weeks now she doesn't have her second shots just yet she's teething like crazy speaking of let me give her so someone on instagram had messaged me when i was talking about storm's little antics last night and they told me to freeze her chew toys so i did that last night i forgot to give it to her this morning um before i went to work so Oh God, I can't do this with two hands. So I'm gonna give it to her now. And like, again, this, oh my God, the Ziploc bag broke. <sighs> I need my tripod. So again, it's kind of like teething with a baby. So these are her chew toys. This first one is, and all of this stuff came with that woman. Like she had already bought so much. Like the only thing we've bought is like our first set of doggy um, pull-ups or so diapers. Back home from the gym and I put on Storm her little diaper. <laughs> oh my God. I hope it's not, oh my God, you guys. Oh, I found, I found the tripod, so. Um, uh, oh, this girl, she keeps moving around and the pad, the, the pad, the diaper has shifted. Oh my God. Dog mom life. And I, I put this on here really tight too. Like, I'm not trying to like suffocate her or anything, but I'm not trying to run out of diapers either. Let me see. I'm sorry, mama. I know, I know. Okay. So, um, I don't know, I have this urge. I don't know if you guys ever get like energy out of nowhere like this but I have this urge to kind of switch up the um the living room tonight storm storm look 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 oh thank you thank you mama Okay guys, um, I have to put my hair up because I was getting hot. So I was getting kind of leery because I was like, this is not, Ooh, I gotta fix this cable box. I was like, this is not looking right. Um, and I think what, what, what did it for me was that chair. Like I was like, how is this going to look right? Um, so, yeah, I feel like it is definitely everything that I said, like, okay, minus the jump, 
but when you walk in from here and then it just flows so good and then this mirror right here just looks so well i honestly feel like dario's gonna love it um i do think that this setup just really really makes the walls look blank because it really just like makes you want to have something in here um and of course we're not hanging up anything unless we have some kind of like command strip kind of thing because people were already saying that this house in here that they already kind of like overly charged when you move out so you know trying to cut as much expenses as we can but yeah the only thing i'm not really liking is all these cords bunched up just looks very tacky to me but it's fine the tv is a little stretch but i actually put it on the extension cord and then this is totally fine um so what i might do is try to move all of this kind of to this corner um this gray one might need to be kind of thumb tacked or something into the floor but looks pretty good let me give you guys a little bit of a overview so i'm really liking the space so far and definitely once i get some plants in here i think i might want to do a little plant on top of there now whenever we're on the laptop or something we can easily charge right there we don't have to move the mirror and once storm gets um potty train we won't have this right here so wait why is this wet i really hope she didn't pee so we won't have this right here this will be open so that won't be such an eyesore um this is kind of her little space and the lady that we got her from actually gave you know all of this to us um so this gate has two entries so this is just her like entry she can run around do whatever she wants to do and she can pee right here poop all that and her food's back there hey guys so it's been a day i think one day since i talked to you guys i am well overdue for a wash with my hair and um basically yesterday was kind of busy i had to go to best buy um kind of on another side of town and i went with another friend of mine she's another like military wife and we um kind of just hung out for a little bit she kind of just went with me to run those errands and then last night i had a fun little zoom call with one of my blogging friends we caught up like we're always talking and chatting via social media through like the voice recording um portion of the app and it's only a minute long so literally we'll have like 10 voice messages to catch up on with one another so it was super fun to just kind of chat with her and um like in real time so um i just got through eating i took storm with me to go pick up some food and um she did decent i personally am probably not gonna like take her with me again by myself because she kind of she wants to be in my lap but then i had to move around and then like when it was time to get the food like i didn't want her barking at the people because she has a thing with customer service it's like she does not like them so um, we're definitely needing to get a car seat for her, um, like a doggy car seat or whatnot to kind of keep in the truck and in the car. But we've normally used the truck when we go off base. So, um, that's her squealing right now. So right now I'm going to be working on a little bit of admin stuff. So, um, I'm using this weekend to definitely catch up on a lot of stuff that I've definitely been wanting to work on. I actually just um finish with my blog let me share with you guys i don't i only have one post up right now but um i've had a blog in the past but um it i i just wanted to rebrand i wanted it to be more editorial and i wanted it to be something that um was similar to like harper's bazaar or who would wear something like that poosh even um something that anybody can go to for just about anything um and i plan on having like different people like coming on and um you know maybe writing a few different uh blog posts and stuff like that i really want it to be something that anyone can go to for um any 
thing that they actually need whether it's style beauty food home whatever the case may be i wanted to have like a bunch of topics that you know is relatable to everybody so here's how it looks the website is called styled on the go so um this is kind of like our little tagline discover yourself with your everyday style um a little bit about what that means recent posts and right here I have the, the post that I did make, the link to it, and then you just scroll down. This is what I kind of still need to work on, is like a blog post for this about the trends that's going on. Um, also inserting a few images and blog posts dealing with black owned businesses, women owned small businesses, and then um, you can either search for stuff, obviously, or here's a sidebar, you can click that and then drop down and you can see the post that I made and this post is all about aesthetic beauty products that are worth the money so um, this is just a little snippet of that you can definitely go check it out I'll link it down below for you guys um, to check out so that is how that's looking um, you know it's a little bit more tweaks that I want to make to it but other than that it, it it's like looks pretty good I'm really liking um, the concept of it and um, I hope to continue to grow it and make it something very original and again I've just been trying to do a lot a lot of stuff outside of Instagram because I don't want Instagram to be my definition of like my social media and like who I am as a content creator because obviously Instagram is not reliable when it comes down to you know trying to make yourself known and getting discovered and stuff like that so um with that being said um I also created a book club so Dario likes to call me an octopus um I've just been trying to have my hands in a few different things just to again be more profitable and also again make myself more known in my brand so I created a book club it's actually um let me pull it up it's called um virtual book and wine club you can search it up on Instagram so this is the Instagram for it and we created um, a post and here is like the book and the wine that we are reading for February um, I think it's very suitable especially for Black History Month it is a book um, by a black author as well as the wine that's um, by um, two black sisters so stuff is black owned and I am so happy to be supporting them and um, reading the book so I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail um, and I have a Facebook group for that as well which is linked in the bio of that so um, again I'll definitely try to update, update all the drop down bar so you guys can kind of just check me out on all of that stuff um and then if there's anything that dario's you know um doing on his end i'll definitely add that as well i know we've been trying to do that second room trying to get it prepared for him to do like gaming stuff and all that so um definitely once he kind of creates that channel and gets that going um we'll definitely let you know about that as well so yeah that's my little spiel on what's kind of going on right now. It was a little bit later in the day. I took a shower. I just got through with my mini, then my, <laughs> I've been tongue tied all today. I just got through with my media kid. Um, I'm not gonna wash my hair today because um, it's already, um, let's see what time it is. It's already 7.46 and I didn't eat lunch today. Um, I just ate that meal from this morning and um, yeah and I've just been working on my media kit and then I sent off that pitch um, so I'm gonna show you guys oh let me see I'm gonna show you guys the media kit so you guys can see how it looks so this is the final look of it um, trying to see if I should okay 
narrow it out just a little bit so this is the first page and pretty much if you don't know what a media kit is it's just basically an overview presentation of your work um, what you specialize in um, your analytics as far as like your followers and stuff like that and it's just a, re a really easy source for whoever you're you guys I'm finally looking decent in this vlog so I am on my way to head out to go get Storm some more food She's actually running a little low and I wish I knew that when I went to the store to get um, some other stuff, but bigger wise it's so close. Like, 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 like. Okay. Um, so um, I'm doing that and I just kind of did my makeup and put on a cute little outfit so that way I can take some pictures. I've actually been trying to take some pictures with this camera, my Canon G7X, so that way um, I can just have some more like editorial style pictures. I definitely wanna step my game up this year, 2021. I've been doing a lot of pictures with my phone, but a lot of times it doesn't capture the light that I want it to, so I love using this camera. The only thing is I just need to get a clicker because sometimes like, even when I have the flip screen up, if I kind of like start out up here, it'll have like the little squares. Um, but then I kind of go back to take a picture. It'll, it won't like autofocus automatically because I have it on timer. I have on this like little crop top thing. Let me open up this. So I have this crop top on. It's just a really soft crop top. These jeans I actually thrifted. They're from Mother. And I have on my Adidas e no, these aren't EQTs. Oh my God, I forgot what these are, but um, I'll try to link them down below. And then I also have this jacket from H&M that I got a while back. Um, it's a little bit oversized. I'm gonna toss it on for you guys so y'all can see. So here's the jacket. So kind of like an all white look, cream look. I thought it was really cute. Um, and as far as my jewelry, um, all of these pieces are from ready-made jewelry. You can pick out your own chain and your own pendant and just interchange them. Um, even this like little chain here is from ready-made jewelry. I love their stuff. As far as my rings, this one is from Pandora, this first one. This middle one is Majuri. That's my wedding ring and band. Okay, so this first one's ready-made jewelry. This middle one is from Bobble Bar, and I have washed my hands, I've put on lotion, and I don't even think that this is like coated. It might be, but it's gold in the inside and it hasn't turned, so I love it. And this um, this last one is also ready-made jewelry. So, and then the earrings are ready-made jewelry. My little hoop right here is from Majuri. Um, so yeah, ready-made jewelry, Majuri, Bobble Bar. Um, I just kind of wanted to do a quick overview. And like, I always wear the same rings. I just interchange them depending on what I want to have on. Uh, pretty much the same necklaces. I have some more of her pieces from Ready Made. I've worked with her um, for a few launches that she's had. And um, I think this one I purchased on my own. And... Um, I think it was another few, but I've, I've worked with her a lot and I love her pieces. They don't turn green at all. Um, she uses a sustainable material. Um, she has it all on her website. So it's ready-made jewelry on her website and also for, um, Instagram. So definitely check her out and they're super reasonable. Like, and when I say like literally like the pendants are probably 20 something, the chain is probably 20 something. Like they're so inexpensive. It's a really good, um, shop so it's a good shop to shop local shop your women-owned businesses so gonna head out right now so i'm in the car and i just got through transferring a few of the photos or pretty much all the photos that i took I'm trying to find the light uh that i took in the house and they have came out so well um i like to narrow it down um if i'm gonna bulk shoot like that i like to narrow it down to like a few so here's the first one I definitely wanted to do something like that um, up close and I've seen a lot of people do like kind of like flip the is that like straight on it's on the side and then I have this one which I thought was really nice like these came out so well and then I have like more of a detail shot so um, I'll go ahead and show you guys my feed I use a preview app to uh, do my feed from my personal page and that's kind of how it's gonna look um, 
I've kind of started to incorporate a lot of home stuff as well. And then I use the other app, Unum, U-N-U-M, for um, my review and rewind page, which is our Depop account um, for our thrifted goods. And um, then I just recently started the uh, other page for my book club. So that one I don't have an app for just yet. I'm kind of winging it, but I might end up getting an app soon. So uh, for today, I plan on going to Petco, um, maybe Target, and then I might stop into Lowe's and this other plant store that I've been wanting to go into. Um, the plant store here is called Feeling Good Co. They sell a lot of their stuff online as well, but I've been wanting to go in there. Um, and I had just recently seen another blogger talk about her having a snake plant, and she was saying that um, it's really low maintenance and it doesn't need too, too much light. And I'm assuming it's a plant that's kind of more desert friendly and here we don't get that much light like it's bright on camera but it's no sun whatsoever um and i think that that would be perfect for our space i'm gonna definitely look it up and make sure it's pet friendly as well um just to kind of double check because storm is teething i don't think she's gonna hop on that especially because we normally have her in her crate throughout the day and then when we are home that's when she's out um and we can obviously monitor that because we also like keep like a really strong like eye on her because she will pee and poop and put anything in her mouth so I think it'll be fine but I definitely want to go take a look around and I definitely wanted to get a faux plant at first um, because of the maintenance and me not being able to kind of probably keep up with it but knowing that a snake plant doesn't have that much maintenance uh, or doesn't need that much maintenance I was like oh, okay that's cool and it's real um, so it'll kind of give a better vibe in the house and also it'll be cheaper because normally faux plants are like so much more expensive so um, I'm excited to take you guys around hopefully I'm not too shy to bring out the camera wherever I'm at um, and we'll see what we can find So I made it back home. It um, I didn't really show too much because there was an issue. So I had a really bad bathroom problem and I'm gonna just leave it at that. And um, that kind of like made me kind of frantic to go ahead and get everything um, that I needed to get and kind of not lallygag around. But I did end up getting um, the I ended up getting the snake plant so I did look it up a little bit further and so basically if you um if your kids or your dog tend, uh, possibly eats the plant that's when there will be a problem but with Storm like she's never out alone by herself like I think I said before she's always monitored especially because of the um you know she's not house trained yet so she's always monitored with that and now like obviously um when she does get um house trained and um potty trained we'll definitely still keep that to a minimum um I feel like even when she gets a little bit older we're definitely going to still keep her in her crate area um and she won't probably be out that much while we're gone just because we don't really want her to get into anything or hurt herself or anything like that. So there shouldn't ever be a problem where like she's alone with the plant. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the plant looks like. So here she is. I don't know if I'm gonna name the plant, but um, I love it. Um, so, um, I also picked up this from Home Depot which was super cheap and I plan on getting a stand for it so that way it can be lifted and um, hopefully it'll be a little bit higher near the TV. So um, I've already kind of priced some on Amazon so I got that and then I got, um, these were both super cheap at Home Depot. I also got this guy here to water so I already gave it some water and um, pretty much it said um, 
like when I was looking up stuff, you just need to really water it when um, you notice that the soil is a little bit dry and overly watering it will be bad for it. And I think what I'll do is during the daytime, I'll just have this little window um, I'll have these blinds open right here in this section so that way it can kind of get a little bit of light during the daytime. So, um, I'm excited. Um, it's definitely something that I wanted. I was, um, looking at the banana tree as well, but that one is very popular and I don't know if that is the reason why, um, a lot of them can be expensive, but that one is low maintenance. Again, we live in Alaska, like especially during the winter time right now, it's not too much sunlight. Um, it's bright outside, but it's not any sun hardly. So that is just something that I was kind of looking at. And the girl that I, that inspired me to look more into plants like this, her name is Farah Pink. It's F-A-R-A-H, Pink, P-I-N-K. Um, she was just talking about it and I love her plant and I thought it was fake, but she said that it was real and she kind of gave a little bit more details on it. And again, she has a dog. Um, and her dog pretty much roams around, but I'm pretty sure it's like trained. Um, and again, Storm will not be like alone by herself with that plant. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I need to wash my hair. I'm going to eat something and kind of get the house together a little bit. Um, and again, I will try to get Dario's reaction to the living room setup um, on the next vlog. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this vlog. Again, like always, comment down below if you guys want to see any kind of videos from us, from me personally, any kind of fashion beauty related videos and um, videos together with me and him outside of vlogs. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Thank you for watching.